raging Russian nationalists called on Sunday for President Vladimir Putin to make immediate changes to ensure victory in the Ukraine war after troops were forced to retreat amid a series of strong Ukrainian counterattacks. Ukraine's troops on Saturday stormed east out of second city Kharkiv, smashing through Russian lines and liberating huge swathes of territory, including the key strategic city of Izium along with several key transport and logistics hubs supporting Putin's men in the Donbas. The news prompted Chechen leader and Putin ally Ramzan Kadyrov to publish an 11-minute long rant on the Telegram messaging app, declaring that changes must be made to turn the tide of the war. If today or tomorrow changes are not made in the conduct of the special military operation, I will be forced to go to the country's leadership to explain to them the situation on the ground," Kadyrov exclaimed. Putin, who is Russia's supreme commander-in-chief of the armed forces, and Defense Minister Sergei Shuigu are yet to publicly comment on the defeat. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov meanwhile declined to answer directly when asked by a reporter on Monday whether the Russian president had confidence in his military leadership. The military operation continues, Peskov insisted, avoiding the question. And it will continue until the goals that were originally set are achieved. The widespread retreat of Russian troops from the Kharkiv region and Izium came on Moscow Day, a holiday which marks the founding of the Russian capital in 1147. Moscow's almost total silence on the defeat, or any explanation for what had taken place in northeastern Ukraine beyond a claim its troops were simply regrouping, sparked significant anger among nationalists and some pro-war commentators on social media. Igor Gherkin, a nationalist militant and former FSB officer who was involved in the orchestration of the Russian-backed war in eastern Ukraine in 2014 compared the collapse of one of the conflict's principal front lines to the 1905 Battle of Mukden, a catastrophic defeat in the Russo-Japanese War which triggered Russia's 1905 revolution. Gherkin, who has been unsparing in his criticisms of the country's top brass, dubbing Defense Minister Shuigu the cardboard marshal, has said repeatedly that Russia will be defeated in Ukraine if it doesn't declare a nationwide mobilization. And Russian MP Sergei Miranov said on Twitter that a firework display in honor of the Moscow Day holiday should be cancelled in view of the military situation. One message reposted on Telegram by the prominent war correspondent Semyon Pegov referred to the celebrations in Moscow as blasphemous and the refusal of Russian authorities to embark on full-scale war as schizophrenic. Either Russia will become itself through the birth of a new political elite, or it will cease to exist, it read. On Russian state TV, Boris Nadezhdin, a former state Duma deputy, began searching for a scapegoat on which to blame Russia's failures in Ukraine. The people who convinced President Putin that the special operation would be fast and effective, that we wouldn't strike the civilian population. These people really set all of us up, Nadezhdin said. The president didn't just think, why don't I start a special operation? Someone told him that Ukrainians will surrender, that they will flee and come to Russia. Ukraine meanwhile has hailed its military's rapid advance, which saw thousands of Russian soldiers flee, leaving behind ammunition stockpiles and equipment, as a turning point in the six-month-old war. Our army, intelligence units and the security services are carrying out active engagements in several operational areas. They are doing so successfully, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said in a video address to the nation last night. We are gradually taking control over new settlements. We are returning the Ukrainian flag and protection for our citizens everywhere," he added, claiming that more than 30 settlements had been liberated in the Kharkiv region. Meanwhile, in the south of Ukraine, a second counterattack near the city of Kherson was making steady progress with Natalia Humanyuk, spokesman for the Southern Military Command, saying some Russian troops were trying to negotiate their surrender this morning. Humanyuk said the soldiers are among those stranded on the west bank of the Dnipro River. They have no escape route after Ukraine used U.S. high Mars missiles to destroy all of the main crossing points. In the south, near Kherson, Russia is likely struggling to bring sufficient reserves forward across the Dnipro River to the front line, a British military intelligence update read. An improvised floating bridge Russia started over two weeks ago remains incomplete, Ukrainian long-range artillery is now probably hitting crossings of the Dnipro so frequently that Russia cannot carry out repairs to damaged road bridges. The rapid Ukrainian successes have significant implications for Russia's overall operational design. The already limited trust deployed troops have in Russia's senior military leadership is likely to deteriorate further. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Every day we had a guy last week.
week. It's six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.